Well, what about Shepard? She's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of her life. Military service runs in the family. Both her parents were in the Navy. She proved herself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. She's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question her courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. Hi, everybody. It is finally here, and I cannot contain my excitement. Um, just in case you were wondering, um, I am playing the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Oh my god, that opening. So good. I, I am playing on um, Veteran difficulty. I'm going to try my best not to talk during cutscenes. Prime relays in range. During cutscenes. transmission sequence. You guys know who that is? Does that voice sound familiar? No. We are connected. Answer me about talking. Transit mass and destination. <laughs> All right, that's Seth Green. Seth Green plays the Joker, or voices the Joker. All stations secure for transit. a uh, mass relay launches objects at incredible speeds as you're about to find out. Hitting the relay in three, two, one. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Yeah. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having him on board. Call me paranoid. Yeah. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. Only an idiot believes the official story. Okay, before I continue, um, just some info on this gameplay. Uh, as you can see, I am playing as Fem Shep. Um, I named her Janathan. Uh, kind of like a joke name, I guess, but no one ever uses uh, the first name. They always call your character commander or shepherd or you know something along those lines it's mainly just commander or commander shepherd or just shepherd um i am playing on veteran difficulty i am playing as the adept class which uh focuses on the powers aspect um i'll pretty much only get to use a pistol as far as like weapons go um like i said i'm going to try not to talk while other people are talking, I've already broken that, but just to, um, just so if you guys don't want to read subtitles, you can actually hear it. Uh, I played the first one on the Xbox 360, um, I believe right before Mass Effect 2 launched. Um, I just bought it on a whim and, uh, fell in love with it. This is such a fantastic story I think they I think Bioware did a, a great job on this but enough of that let's continue they don't send specters on shakedown runs so there's more going on here than the captain's letting up Joker status report just cleared the mass relay captain stealth systems engaged everything looks solid good Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. 
better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Okay. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Yeah, Joker. Okay. Oh man, everything looks nice. Look at all these nerds on their computers. Hey, where's your gun? Oh, you don't have one because you're just a nerd on your computer? That's what I thought. <gasps> Dr. Chuck was. Where are you? You're not Chuckless. Where's Chuckless? I can hear her. Where are you? Oh, right here. She's the best. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Yeah. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. I don't want to talk to you. I'm talking the captain's to waiting for me. Chocolate. Goodbye, Commander. But I guess I can't talk to her anymore. Here's Nihilus. He's a Spectre. Um, just a little info on Spectres. Um, they're basically like... I guess like elite forces. I was hoping you get here first. People give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Suspicious. Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operation. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Huh? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shot. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But the Prime weird. doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Ooh. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group, 
It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! out after that no calm traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 the claw status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. All right. Engaging stealth systems. Oh, man. That looks so nice. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Uh, 
Okay. Saving. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Um, it has been a long time since I played a Mass Effect one. This place got hit hard. But holy crap! Hostile this looks cool. Uh, let's see if I can remember the controls. Okay, L1 to hold up weapons. And you can change what everyone's uh, using. I think R1. Yep, yeah, for the powers. I have sabotage. Nope, that's not me. Where are me? I have warp and throw. Throw and sabotage. Okay. And then hold touchpad to put away your guns. Get down! Whoa, wait. I just threw a fucking grenade? I don't want to do that. If I remember correctly, throwing grenades was... Um, the start button. So what's the start button? Okay. It's getting familiar. Uh, touchpad, touchpad. Okay. How do I reload then? Circle is, uh. Oh, right. There's no reloading. Not in the first one, at least, because they had the uh, the overheating things. Yeah, thermal clips were introduced in number two. You know, like a, a normal magazine, where you had like a limited number of shots. Dead instantly. Yeah, I can see in the bottom left, uh, this little, uh, dots, I guess? Hey! Are, are you okay, buddy? Rip right through his shields. Is he okay? Right chance. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete, but I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, man. Okay, so... Um, I'm gonna check to see if... Squad. Okay. Um, oh, I should also mention, I'm playing in Legendary Edition instead of Classic. So, uh, there's a max of 30 levels instead of 60. Oh, I really want Singularity. Which I think I need to up... Or put more points into Warp. Yeah. So, I'm gonna do Warp. Let's add some barrier for me. Oh, that's good. Charm and intimidate. Damn. I'm gonna increase charm. Yeah. Okay, let's give him, uh, I guess, first aid. That's gonna be handy. Just so I could get, I guess, medicine. And uh, I think that's good. Okay. Yes, Medigel. Oh, you jerk. Still got it. Burned our buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Yeah, you can see in the bottom. Um, barriers and health. Barriers come back. Health, you need to heal. Get it back up. Yeah, 
There's Ashley. And the guest. said uh throw or yeah i want to map it i'm not sure what that means oh i guess if i just hit r1 like tap r1 thanks for your help commander i didn't think i was gonna make it gunnery chief ashley williams of the 212 you the one in charge here ma'am are you wounded williams a few scrapes and burns, nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins. And the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the Beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no time. Uh, what was going on with Caden? Did you guys see that? He was holding nothing. I'm gonna go back to that. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians. If you saw Look at this him. guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower he, he looks like he's holding platoon. a gun, but he's not holding a gun. Luckily, he's on our side. Caden. Sorry. What? Like I said, no Turians. He's been drinking again. Move out! Also, I was using a pistol, not an assault rifle. Okay, let's open up this. Play armor. Okay, um, I'm going to save it before I go any farther. I really don't want to lose all this progress. Oh man, that save was quick. Um, yeah, level up Ashley real quick. Let's have her focus on... I guess assault rifles and sniper rifles. That would be good, right? Let's add something in, soldier. And let's go. Go there, go there, and I'll move up here. Let's move. Oh, 
Oops. <laughs> Oh, I can't map it, but that's okay. I'm gonna use barrier. Let's sneak up on this little butthead. Take that, you machine. It's the dig site. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the gas? Or Hard your mom. Say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Okay. Shepard, there's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. All right, so I got some items. I'm gonna check out uh, my inventory real quick. Uh, update some guns, armor, whatever. I will be right back. So I got new armor, upgraded my uh, pistol. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. These oh God, they're still husks alive. of humanity. What did the Geth do to them? Sniper rifle? What about a sniper rifle? We put them on these things. Shotgun and sniper rifle. And then change them into these... I don't know if they'd still be considered alive. They're definitely changed. I forgot how this works. Let's try it. Wait, what? Okay, that's how it works. You just hit the button that lights up. Humans. 
thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Ah, oh, what an asshole. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit... unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. <laughs> yeah. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Winter is coming. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Yeah, Manuel. Okay. Let's just uh, loot them and uh, steal all their shit. Because, you know, they're scientists. They don't need a. Uh, Pistols and shotguns and armor and stuff. Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. A gunshot? What could that mean? What is that? Off in the distance. It's a ship! Look at the size of it! God damn, that's cool. I can still see you. Oh no, things. Now. What's wrong with you? Okay. 
Oh, I don't have anything. Um... Nihilus? It's Nihilus. But that gunshot. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I like this guy. I, I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Why is that? Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. <laughs> I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... It was making this noise, this... This sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Okay, I think that's it. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. To go take another nap? What was that noise? Was that him napping? Are you okay? Uh-oh. We're gonna fight. Uh-oh. It's right next to us. Is that use? Is that overkill? I think it's called overkill. Yeah, overkill. Ooh, a medical kit. Got metagel. An upgrade kit, nice. Chemical rounds, anti personnel rounds. Okay, so. Wait. I thought you had like medic or something. Yeah, how do I use my? Who's shooting at me? Who's shooting? I need to get down. Doesn't that start smart strategy? Nice. Oh shit, he's running! Let's use a uh, throw recharging sabotage on him, I guess. Ok, 
Okay, I'm gonna use barrier and then move up. Still recharging. again and then I'll warp in. Nice. Train controls. Um I am actually going to end it there. I will leave what happens next in the next video. Um I hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far um this series just it means a whole lot to me i i can't even tell you guys how many times i've played the first one um i hope you stick with this series find out what happens um what was that giant ship in the sky why did saren another specter kill his comrade um let's let's find out together shall we Take care, guys.